Hey YouTube, so this video is going to be about how to pour a pretty steep slope with concrete. Now from the building out away from towards the road there, it pitches about 12 inches and 10 feet there. So I'm going to show you how we pour a slope like this with concrete. Get it poured, get it screeded, get it bolt loaded, and then hang out for the end of the video so you can see the kind of struggles I went through trying to finish this thing also. So hey, if you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in all types of concrete work. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, please go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I know there's a large portion of you guys that watch my videos that aren't subscribers. And we're growing this video, this channel, to be the number one teaching and learning concrete channel on the, on the YouTube. So please go down there and hit subscribe and, and be part of the community. So the first thing when you start pouring a slope with concrete like this is you've got to pour the concrete dry enough so it doesn't want to sag on you too bad. So we're, there's a fine line between the concrete being a little too wet and a little too dry. Too dry meaning it's going to be hard to work with and too wet meaning it's just not going to hold its shape. So with something like this, something that pitches about 12 inches and 10 feet, you know, I tell the concrete driver to give me between a three and a four inch slump to start with. And we'll look at that and we'll try that and we'll see how well it holds. And if we think we can add just a little bit more water to it to make it more workable, then we will. And if not, then we'll keep it that dry. A slump, you know, the word slump is the measure of how dry or wet the concrete is with, with one being really, really dry, almost like dirt. And then 10 being being almost real wet like water. So we're at right around a, what I would say a three to four inch slump with this. And it's it's going to hold its shape as you see. It's a little bit drier than what we normally like to work with. But it actually makes the pour easier because it doesn't want to sag on us. If the concrete just keeps wants to keep sagging, then it actually makes the job a little bit harder. So... Right now, the, the first part of this actually kind of slopes towards you, what you're looking at, that driveway in front of you. And it slopes to your left, you know, towards me, the guy in the black shirt. So it had a couple different slopes to it. Now, where Darren and I are right now screeding, it just slopes out away from the building. So we had a couple different pitches going on when we very first started because we were matching that concrete apron there to the right that you can just barely see on the right. So we're going to come back and mag float that smooth and, and uh, right now we just want to get this part, it's about 40 feet long by 10 feet wide, we just want to get this in screeded and then I'll show you how I bull float it. It's even a little bit of a struggle to bull float something like this but right now as we screed, you know every time we pull that screed along the surface of the concrete it wants to kind of, it wants to kind of sag just a little bit towards you know your left when you're looking at it here so Eric's going back here and he's kind of smoothing out that little piece that, that we couldn't get with the screed as you can see he's got that all smoothed out and then I'm going up it with the bull float now when you bull float a steep slope like this you got to be really careful you got to go slow and steady because as you push it and pull it that concrete wants to drop it wants to sag towards me so and a little bit of it will. So some of that's inevitable. And I'll show you how we deal with that here in a minute. But as you can see, I'm just going to bull float this nice and slow. Try to get it as smooth as I possibly can without making it sag too bad. So when I come back to finish it, it'll just be a little bit easier to finish. So as you can see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, trying to smooth out all the aggregate. Pouring a... A dry slump like this means there's a lot of aggregate right at the surface. And using the bull float, I'm trying to push that aggregate down and bring up as much paste and as much cream as possible. Now the owner just wanted this piece here to go from those back. We're pouring some concrete way in the back there. You can see we got one piece poured already to this driveway. So he just wanted this piece in between those two because he's got a metal roof up on this garage that you can't see. And we live in Maine, so we get a lot of snow. So he's going to have a lot of a lot of snow coming off that roof, and he wanted to be able to just plow that snow out away from the building. And you can see how Darren's kind of dealing with the concrete that sagged a little bit. He's 
He's going back and he's magging that even with the top of the form. And he's got to dig out a little bit of that concrete to get it to, to match evenly with the top of the form. So that's how we dealt with a little bit of concrete that sagged right at the form itself. And now you're going to see how we're going to finish this thing. So we're going to put a broom finish on it. We don't want it to be too slippery. Now you can kind of see the roof line a little bit too. But uh, So I, I'm getting on my skids and as I'm getting on my skids here, you can see how they just keep want to, they want to keep falling back. So I'm supporting myself with my, with my two hands on using two different mag floats. But those skids, those knee boards I'm using, just want to keep falling back towards the form. So I've got to support myself with my one hand, my left hand there, and mag float the surface with the other hand. So it was a little bit of a struggle, that's for sure. But it's nothing, nothing I haven't done before, but it's just definitely a lot harder than doing it on something that's a little more level. And we're magging this out because we want to get it fairly smooth to put a broom finish on it. So I'm just going to mag it out, work my way back. Then I'll step off and set over and, and do it again. So I can get about six or seven feet here every time I, I do this. You can see I'm going to step back on and then I'm going to try to pull myself back up. And it is, it is a struggle. I mean, I just I had to work doing this. It was a lot more work than normal. Then things just want to slide. They're pretty slippery on wet concrete. The concrete was plenty firm enough to support my weight. But it was just really slippery going. So I'm going to get this next section uh, magged out. And then we're going to put a broom finish on this so you can see what the final finish looks like. And you can see Darren's kind of kind of edging it. He's pre-edging the, the board before we put the finish on it. And then as after Eric brooms it here, he's going to go back and put the finish edge on it. So that broom finish is going to end up being the final finish. And when we take that form off there in the front, the owner's going to pave from the old pavement to the new slab so he's gonna have pavement in, in there so there won't be any type of uh, <clears throat> any type of ditch there. he'll be able to drive you know from this this driveway all the way through to the back just like it was all brand new and then he's gonna re landscape there where we're standing so it'll all be nice when he's done but you can see how we finished it you know with just a broom finish pulling it downhill I'm, I'm doing the mag floating, Darren's doing the edging, and Eric's doing all the brooming. And that's how we pour a steep slope and finish a steep slope on, uh, you know, with using concrete. It's, it's a little bit more work than normal, it takes a little bit of skill, but if you've got something really steep that you want to put concrete over, the key is just pouring it at the right slump. And then, you know, knowing how to work with that slump, the stiffer it is, it's, it's a little harder to work with, but hopefully... This video gave you a little insight on how to work with that. So again, guys, if, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If you like this video, please hit the like button and come on back and we'll see you on the next one.